Hey, what's up, man? How you guys doing? Here to sell my John Harden business card. Killed over 40 people in the late 1800s. After his release from prison, he became a lawyer. John Wesley Harding was one of the most notorious outlaws of the Old West. It's sort of insane that the bar would let him become a lawyer. Oh, hold on there, man. I mean, obviously, he knew quite a bit about the legal system at this point. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's... Water in the car. I'm here at the pawn shop today to try to sell my John W. Harding business card. I picked it up for 20 bucks at a yard sale, hoping to get about $500 for it. I know at one point he killed some people, and the town was so pissed about it that they went and found his cousins and hung them. He also killed someone for snoring too loud. <laughs> <laughs> John Wesley Harden was just a straight-up killer. He killed his first man when he was a teenager and dozens more by the time he was caught, when he was only 24 years old. I think it's cool that it's from the Wells Fargo building. Which I'm sure he robbed once or twice. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it almost looks too good to be true. Business cards, they get folded, they get bent. If this really did belong to Harden, it's amazing. Collectors of Old West memorabilia will go nuts. I'm sure I could sell it for 500 bucks without breaking a sweat. The problem is, it would be incredibly easy to fake. I go to Kinko's right now and make one myself. So what do you want to do with this? You want to sell no, it? I want to sell it. OK. If it looks too good to be true, it generally is. Sure. But there's always that shot. Before we even talk price, let me get someone down here to take a look at it and make sure it's real. OK. OK. I'll Sounds be right good. back. Thanks. I've never had an expert verify a business card, and I don't even know if that's possible. But I'm hoping it is, because if this is Harden's card, that would be incredible. My man, Mark, how you doing? I'm doing all right. The guys often call me down when they have an interesting historical artifact that they're just not quite sure about. John Wesley Harden's business card. <laughs> Arguably the fastest Old West gunfighter. And he had his own draw. It was actually called the Harden draw. He didn't carry his guns down on his hips. He carried them in his vest. And he had a cross draw that he would use. Uh, but they finally did catch him, you know, put him in prison. While he was in there, studied for the bar, got out, and actually became an attorney in August of 1895. A local constable was going to arrest his girlfriend who was walking around town waving a gun. He told Constable Selman, I'm going to kill you. Now, when John Wesley Harden tells you, I'm going to kill you, you take that seriously. Well, Selman's father ended up coming up behind John Wesley Harden and shot him four times in the back and killed him. <laughs> uh, if this actually is one of John Wesley Harden's business cards, it is a significant piece of Old West history. You know, it's the right size, it's the right address, and he did have practice in all courts. Um, this is a turn of the century style paper. So the time period might be correct. My big concern is, is it real? I'm sorry to say, I don't know. As long as it's in the frame, I really cannot tell. Is this the right way to paper? You have to look at how it was printed, a number of different issues. If we take it out of the glass, I can probably be sure. OK. What's the risk if I break this open? Realistically, it could destroy the piece. I'm worried about the card. What happens if it splits in two? I'll tell you what. If it turns out to be real, I'll give you 300 bucks, whether it's damaged or not, when we take it out. Can you do a little more than that? I'll go 350. What if it's fake? I'm going to give it back to you. <laughs> no risk, no reward. All right, 350 works for me. All right, let's go open this up. This is a first. I've never had to break open an item to have it authenticated. But since the two pieces of glass have been sealed together, it's the only way to get it open. This should be interesting. Yeah. All right, get it on the other side. Very, very lightly with the claws. OK, you guys ready? On the, on the corner. I know. Do me a favor, Dad. You're making me nervous. All right, just real tap. The problem with a card like this is it's going to be very brittle. And if you hit that glass wrong, he could destroy something that's a really significant part of Old West history. All right, guys, here we go. All right, guys, I think we got it. 
Yeah, don't, don't press through. You're gonna break the card. Okay, it's, it's glued down on those top two corners and that uh, looks almost like tape. I don't wanna try to pull that because that will take off the corners of the card. Corey did a surprisingly good job of getting this card out. I was very worried when he was going after that glass with the hammer, but he was careful enough. The paperweight, the, the thickness of the paper seems correct on it. That's good. With the layout being correct, the size being correct, it's close. It's real close. Problem is, I can't tell for sure whether it's offset printing or letterpress printing, which is what they would have used at the time. OK. If someone gave this to your museum, would you display it? Someone gave it to my museum, I would display it. I give it about an 80% yes. This is real. I just can't say absolutely. So 80%, do we have a deal? Yeah, 80%, we got a deal. Great. All right, let's go do some paperwork. Great. Thanks. This card is awesome. Even though it's risky buying something when Mark isn't 100% sure it's real, I'm confident it's the real thing.